while sifting through some cervix hitting comments, it suddenly hit me that many viewers probably don't have a clue about female anatomy. In this video, I'm going to change that. If you are an expert already, you can move on to the next video. Before that, you might want to consult your female partner to get a confirmation on your assumption. However, I bet many of you fumble around in the search of the magic spot. And I mean, it can be confusing. All these spots that you can't see or can't see clearly in the heat of the night. G-spot, clitoris, cervix. My name is Dr. Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Before you actually go for the G-spot, here's a little theoretical exercise first. In this lesson, you try to hit a spot on your screen. Look out for this sign. It says subscribe. I want you to place your cursor over it and click on it. Great. Now let's start with the easy part, the clitoris. A part of it is visible under the clitoral hood at the upper end of the vulva. Here's a fun fact. The penis and clitoris develop from the same starting point in an embryo. Over time, hormonal differences shape them into the organs we recognize, but because of this shared origin, they remain similar in many ways. This is why some people refer to the penis and clitoris as homologous structures, meaning they are different versions of the same structure, just adapted for different purposes depending on the sex of the person. So the tip of the penis and the visible clitoral tip are both considered to be the glands. These are the most sensitive parts of the organs packed with nerves for sexual stimulation. The clitoris extends into the female body similarly to the penile shaft. The invisible part of the penis is called the crura. At the root of the penis, the shaft separates and erectile tissue extends deep into the body where it is anchored. This is the same with the clitoris. So don't assume the clitoris is that little P that's visible to the naked eye. The clitoris is likely the most important spot for female pleasures. You may have heard about clitoral orgasms. This term refers back to the sensitivity of the clitoris. Some women, however, also experience something called vaginal orgasms. They are somewhat different from clitoral orgasms and are likely related to the so-called G-spot. The G in G-spot refers to the one who was the first to describe this area. I am talking about Ernst Greifenberg, a German gynecologist who moved to the US in his later years and practiced in New York until his death in 1957. There has been endless and ongoing debates about the G-spot. Does it really exist? Some research believe the G-spot might actually be part of the larger clitoral network, which can make things a bit more complicated when trying to differentiate between types of orgasms. You see, it doesn't seem to be present in every woman. Only a subset of women describe being sensitive and getting aroused by stimulation of a certain region in the anterior vaginal wall. I think an erogenous spot somewhere in there. This is something not only doctors find confusing, because it is not somewhere deep down in the abyss. The G-spot is located relatively close to the entrance of the vagina. It lies along the front wall which is the side closest to the belly. To find it, you would insert a finger or fingers into the vagina and curl it upwards towards the belly button. The G-spot is typically located about two to three inches, and that's five to seven centimeters inside the vagina. So you cervix hitters out there, I have a feeling that you confuse the cervix with the G-spot. The cervix marks the lower end of the vagina. It is the entrance into the uterus. Traditionally, the cervix is not an erogenous zone, so banging onto it will hurt most women. However, research has shown that there is a small subset of women who will find this arousing. I say it again, most women will not be pleased with that trick of yours. In fact, most women will appreciate some head work from your side. Works wonders sometimes. Brutal force without romance only suits a minority. So now that you know more about anatomy, 
your real journey to expertise begins. Step two will be to ask your partner. Don't assume anything. Ask and you will be surprised. Interested in a video about squirting? No, it's not always urine. See for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.